Welcome to the April 26, 2021 Advance Report for McGowan Group clients and NetworthRadio.com listeners. I'm Spencer McGowan, your financial weatherman. Thank you for joining me today. I'm a portfolio manager and founder of McGowan Group Asset Management. This is a fast-paced weekly tour designed for our clients and their friends to, to go to the next level on investing with a fast-paced tour of the global markets, what's happening, what's shifted. And I've got some big, important money flow shifts that have occurred over the past six months that telegraph where we're going in the next part of this cycle and a discussion that has to do obviously with inflation. You'll see when we get there. Well, Dow Jones Industrial Average back here in October went into the depths of despair. This was before Operation Warp Speed was clearly uh, going to be a success and the Dow hit 26,000. It was locked down potentially again. And we can see right here the recovery as the vaccines take hold and anticipation of full economic recovery for the U.S. Well, the Dow now at 34,000. Is it overvalued? We covered last week that it, it could be overvalued by as much as 20% relative to certain measures. And the corporate tax rate increase being proposed probably corresponds to the next drop in value, earnings-based valuation of the S&P 500. You can go back to last week's uh, video if you missed it. Be sure to subscribe and you get notifications as soon as the videos hit, especially when there's fast-breaking news. YouTube McGowan Group. Okay, here we go with an extraordinary trend that, that we want to really say how long is this trend. This is five years, but oh my gosh, a big part of this took place in the last six months. Again, I promised to cover the last big shifts in the past six or seven months. This is lumber. For those of you that are attempting to build a house or add on to a house, well, or if you go to Home Depot for some two by fours, you're, you're feeling it. The low here on this chart, 251, now, 1374 high, you are looking at over five times the price for lumber. And it's affecting, of course, construction. Uh, by the way, Fort Worth based DR Horton came out with just an amazing earnings release, uh, about 40% over the year prior. And of course, the housing boom says that we've got maybe 4 million more houses to build to satisfy current demand. Uh, that's absolutely huge. What is this? It's inflation. That's, uh, that is inflation that is not going to disappear. When does it cause the Fed to end quantitative easing? The bond market tried to answer the question with the rates going from a low of a half a percent on the 10 year to one and three quarters percent, but they settled back down this month by about a fifth of a percent. So not yet is it a factor in the long treasury market. We'll keep you posted on that. This is inflation. This is also inflation. This is the pipeline index. What shifted in October? Energy was completely out of favor last year. Ironically, just before the election and right at the election, the pipelines entered a huge rally phase. And of course, energy is the best performing sector in the S&P so far this year. By the way, those of you that are clients, part of the update, the medical dividend companies, medical technology, uh, re-entering a rally phase over the past couple of weeks, uh, the pipelines and energy infrastructure doing well. And with the interest rates settling back down, the global high yield category has also done well here in the month of April. Netflix, look at this chart. Now, this is a January peak of about 600 for Netflix. You can see the peak back here that was close to 600, and that was around October. Lockdown stocks, everybody watching Netflix, working from home, and of course, had a correction here, but now Netflix clearly below the peak, and this is no longer an uptrend. That's the main message. Another lockdown technology stock, Zoom, hit nearly $600 a share. Currently, it is just over 300 per share. That is a huge, huge decline. 
50%. And that corresponded to the end of the lockdowns, especially here in Texas. So we're not likely to go back into the same mode there. But Zoom technology, of course, we use it here. You can set your time for your Zoom meeting. Uh, if you're a prospective client, just fill out the client questionnaire at networthradio.com or call McGowan Group Asset Management. And we love to master the Zoom technology. However, there's also a bunch of employees that have stock and that locked up stock next year is going to be some, some of it's going to get sold. And that puts further pressure here. So it's the end of the technology leading the way in what you saw with the equity indexes. This is DoorDash, company's miserable results even with the lockdowns. And of course, that's starting to be reflected in the price movement you see here. So the lockdown stock thing is over. The shift has been materials, energy, and inflation-friendly assets like the medical dividends. I'm Spencer McGowan, President, McGowan Group Asset Management. Thank you for tuning in this week for the fast-paced tour of the global financial markets from your financial weatherman. Be sure to subscribe and you can also send the link to your friends that may ask you what's going on in the markets. Well, this is one of the best sources and it's concise. Thank you for tuning in to our YouTube channel. I'm Spencer McGowan, President McGowan Group, your financial weatherman. We sponsor each week NetWorthRadio.com broadcast. That has the charts and graphs, many of which you saw today. We also sponsor this YouTube channel. Be sure to subscribe for fast breaking news, an alert when we post something in a market condition that may have changed. Our goal is to help you as an investor make the right decisions at the right time. And that's part of what this YouTube channel is about as well as NetWorthRadio.com. I am well served with a team of 10 people including myself and that team that cares is actually made up of people who devoted to your net profits and your success as well as excellence in service. If you want an educational experience to follow this up, get to NetWorthRadio.com, TheMcGowanGroup.com. Right here, we disclose our net client experience all the way back to 2001. What that includes, the bear market cycles of 02, 08, 2018, and the recoveries through the most recent quarter. That is true education of investors and exactly how our clients have done disclosed right here. Further disclosures, value at risk of loss. Yes, investments are going to fluctuate. That's part of the reason for this broadcast and that can actually work to your advantage. We'll build that into your plan. So I urge you to go to NetWorthRadio.com, fill out the preliminary client questionnaire, a free one-hour brainstorming session by phone or at the Crescent in Dallas, and we will map out a multi-year plan for you and your family that's appropriate. Just because we talk about a security on this broadcast or any securities doesn't make it a recommendation for your portfolio until you have that written plan. Thank you for tuning in today and we'll be back next week as your financial weatherman.